Hey guys, it's Josiah here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are here doing um, part two of our uh, record prediction. This one is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals record predictions. I did the Baltimore Ravens, as you see right there, got them going 12-5. and five. So because of that, I have the Bengals already at 1-1. One and one. I have them splitting the series with the Ravens. They'll win uh, at home in week two, but then lose on Thursday night football in week 11. Um, but the Bengals... I don't know, because I think they're going to do solid, but what came across my mind is they lost a lot of players on defense. Like, they lost Jesse Bates, who went to the Falcons, then you got Von Bell, who I think went to the Panthers. They did get Orlando Brown, though, and I think T. Higgins and Joe Burrow and are in, like, contract situations or whatever, and I think Joe Mixon's, I don't know. Something's up with him, I think, I don't know. Rumor, I don't know. So, they've got some things to deal with. Um, will that affect them? Well, let's see. Um, so right off the bat, you got an away game against, uh, the Browns. Um, now the Browns have, uh, their issues. They got, like, Deshaun Watson, who's been, well, I don't know. You, you'll, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, because it's, I don't know. They have rumors of DeAndre Hopkins going there. Um, I don't know. A lot of things going on with the Browns right now. Um, but either way, I'm not going to waste my time. The Browns, I think, are going to be... Well, we'll see when we get to the, the Browns predictions some of the day. But we got the Bengals winning here in Week 1. And then going 2-0 and because they end up beating the Ravens in a close game. That matchup's always nice. Um, now we got another home game. This one's against the Los Angeles Rams, who were very, very injured last season. A lot of players were injured. I know Cooper Cup was injured. I think Aaron Donald missed some games. I think Matthew Stafford did. But basically everybody. They had to bring in ba Baker Mayfield to win a game against the Raiders. And then they did pretty much nothing else after that. Um, rough year, rough year for Rams fans. Five and twelve, I think, was their final record. The worst team uh, to go from like a Super Bowl, then like their record afterwards, the worst team. Also, I'm sorry for the camera angle, by the way. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Again, I'll get a webcam eventually. Don't worry, don't worry. Then this whole problem will be taken care of. Don't worry, don't worry. Anyway, so need to need to focus on the, the camera. Over. But anyways, I think the Rams can bounce back, but I still think the Bengals are the Bengals. They're gonna beat the Rams. And then week four, we got an away game against the Titans, who Titans just had a visit done with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Didn't get a deal done, reports uh, said. But there's a lot of a lot of things wrong with Tennessee. Like, Ryan Tannehill's in trade rumors. So is Derrick Henry was in some trade rumors. Malik Willis didn't work out. They drafted Will Levis, so we'll see how he does. Traylon Burks is there. He's pretty solid. They lost Robert Woods, though. They lost... David, is David Long still there? I don't know if he's still there, and I don't think he is. They re-signed Jeffrey Simmons. That's like the best thing they did this offseason. I think they lost Kevin Byard as well, or maybe they still have him. I don't know. So, with that, uh, I mean, Tennessee, they lost the last seven games last season. They went 7-3 to three and fell to 7-10 to 10 and lost the AFC South because of that in the game against the Jaguars in Week 18. So, I had the Bengals winning. They're 4-0 right now. Or, technically, they're 4-1 right now. But, the start of the season, they're 4-0. And I think that's going to continue with an easy win against the Cardinals, who lost the Andre Hopkins. They had a terrible season last season. They were four and thirteen, or some abysmal. They got like Kyler Murray, then they got Hollywood Brown. A lot of players returned from injuries. And then you got an interesting game heading into the bye. You got a home game against the Seattle Seahawks, who I think the Seattle Seahawks might turn some heads as they did last season, making the playoffs, going nine and eight. They drafted Jackson Smith and Dejibba and also Devin Witherspoon. They got some big players in the draft. They did. They really did. Um, and Geno Smith got a big contract uh, this offseason. Um, DK Metcalf and Tyler. Don't upset Tyler Board. <laughs> That's on the day. He's on the Bengals. Tyler Lockett is his name. He's there. They lost Mar Marquise Godwin, but they filled it in with Jackson Smith and Dejibba, who I think is going to be really good uh, this offseason or this season coming up. Uh, coming up. Uh, they got um, Kenneth Walker, who was really good last season until he got injured. He's back. Um, you got some good players on this team. You also get back Bobby Wagner, who didn't really do much on the Rams in that one or two seasons that he was there. Um, but he's returning home, coming to Los An or coming to Seattle. I, what, what the heck is wrong? I can't even do anything. Oh, good grief. They got uh, Tariq Wool in there. They got some good players. Therefore, I think this could result in an upset. I think the Seahawks are going to upset the Bengals. That's going to be controversial. The Bengals will fall to 5-1. and one. Heading into the bye, you got some really tough games. You got both the, the Niners and the Bills back-to-back, -back, both Super Bowl contenders. Let's start with the Niners. This is an away game. 
Um, the Niners are going to be they're going to be they're going to be good this season. The only thing they got to worry about is who's starting at quarterback, which I think should be Brock Purdy, but they got Sam Darnold there. You got Trey Lance coming off of injury, Brock Purdy is too. Will he be ready by week 1? Yada 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 and all that stuff. Um, but you got Javon Hargrave, brought him for the Eagles. Um, you got Debo Samuel, you got Brandon Ayuk, Christian McCaffrey which they traded for last offseason. He was really good. Uh George Kittle's there. Defense is stacked. Um, but the Bengals, I think, can, uh, they can bring some heat. Um, this is going to be a close game. This is going to be a close game. I originally had the Bengals winning, but I don't know. I might be too hard on the Bengals. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I got the Niners winning. I think they, the back-to-back -back losses, they got some tough losses coming up. I don't know. You know what? No. I, I need to have them winning one of these games. I'll have them. You know what? Okay, fi fi final final answer, Bengals beat the Niners. Okay, I need to have them winning one of these games because they got the Chiefs coming up later. Then they got the Bills, which I think they lose to. Um, we all know what happened uh, last time these two teams met. Not in the playoffs, but in the regular season when DeMar Hamlin went down. Um, and never, we had to, okay, this game was canceled. This game was canceled. It was for Week 17 last year, and it was canceled. We didn't get, we didn't get to see this game. Um... Now, I think the Bills can can uh, come back and win that. I don't see any reason why the Bills should not win that game. Um, that's all. I, really, I, I don't really think I have to say much more about that. Uh, we got the Texans. That's going to be an easy win for the Bengals. Um, I mean, they got CJ Stroud. They got some good players, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Have them losing to the Ravens. So now they're 7-3 and three right now. Um, but don't worry. You, you'll beat the Steelers. Don't worry. I think the Steelers could be good, but we'll get there. Again, I don't want to say too much. We'll get there when we do. We'll do the Steelers and the Browns next. We'll go and order from conferences, or not conferences, but divisions. Um, then you got a tough game against the Jaguars, who nearly beat the Chiefs in the divisional round, and they came back against the Chargers in the wildcard round. They did really good. Huge comeback last season. I think they were like, what were they, like, one? I think they were like three and seven or something. I don't know, something like that. Huge comeback to win the AFC South, but I think the Bengals are too strong. I think the Bengals can do it. I wouldn't be shocked if the Jags win this game, but... I think the Bengals can do it. Um, then we got the Colts. Uh, that's an easy win. Again, they, they have to face a lot of the AFC. Excuse me, sorry. AFC North has to face a lot of rookie quarterbacks like C.J. Stroud, Anthony Richardson, Will Levis. I think the Ravens do too. I think all the AFC North teams have to face the AFC South teams, which is going to be interesting. Uh, now we got the Vikings, who were going to be a tough team to beat, um, but they lost Alvin Cook and they lost Adam Thielen. That's a win for the. Uh, Bengals plus I think Kirk Cousins in like contract talks or whatever. You got the Steelers. I think you can uh, sweep the Steelers. Um, anyway, then you got Week 17. You got Bengals and Chiefs yet again. Um, Bengals. Um, what are they like three and one against like Mahomes or uh, Joe Burrow's like three and one or something against Mahomes? Four. I don't know. I don't know the whole record. AFC Championship 2021. He beat him. Regular season beat him. Regular season 2021. I forgot before that they beat them. Chiefs beat the Bengals um, on a controversial uh, call, uh, controversial like uh, it was a like penalty or no penalty or people said that they, the refs were on the Chiefs side in that game. I remember that, um, but don't worry. I think you get your revenge. I think you'll be able to beat the, the Chiefs. Then week eighteen, you got the Browns. Just like starting off, you finish with the Browns. And I don't know what it is. Now listen, 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 listen. I don't know what it is. But I just remembered across my head that Joe Burrow does terrible against the Browns. And I don't know what it is. It seems like every year he always loses a game against the Browns. Now, l l listen, listen, listen. I wouldn't be shut. L listen, he could. Th th they could lose this game. They could be. They could. They could be zero two to start the season for all they know if they're not careful. I think they can be careful. I would again. Some a lot of people are gonna have Burrow probably losing one of, one of these games. Either the week eight, one of the Browns games. I think they can sweep it. I think they're capable enough to. So I got them, I got them winning, I got them beating, I got them beating the the Browns, putting them at 14 and 3, um, which you know what, okay, I keep going back and forth, I might be too, I don't know, we'll say the Niners do it, I thought, I, I thought, I forgot that I had the Bengals beating the Chiefs, I thought that I had the Chiefs, but I forgot, I had the Bengals winning, I know that. We'll have the Niners. Okay, 13-4 will be the final prediction. I still have them beating the Ravens. I have them winning the AFC North. 
Don't worry, I have them. They could be fighting for them one C. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. They're still 13-4. and four. I think they're capable enough to do it, honestly. The, the Bengals are a really strong team, unfortunately, because I'm a Ravens fan. But we'll see, we'll see. I know they nearly lost to us in the wildcard round, but it's all good. It's all good. They made ASA Championship. Could have won the Super Bowl if controversies didn't swirl there. Uh, could back back Super Bowl for them, actually. Nearly won the Super Bowl in 2021 with them. So, anyways, 13-4 left final prediction. Final, <laughs> Niners will beat the Bengals. Confirmed. That's it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Anyways, don't worry. That's it for this episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. Just, just a suggestion because as always, I don't support clout, but do it as a suggestion. Um, I don't know which one I'll do next. Either the Steelers or the Browns will be next. So look out for that whenever I decide to post that. Probably next week. I might just do this all all Tuesday. I know we got like what thirty one teams or something. So I don't know. The the the, the what that it won't be done in time the season to start so i'll probably have to do like i don't know we'll see we'll see what i can do maybe i can fill some stuff in next week we'll see i did release like a schedule a possible schedule for this week i want to get back to junior size group review so i could do that tomorrow thursday could be my um diecast collection which i was going to record on friday but my dad came to pick me up as i was recording so i couldn't get i couldn't get that out for you guys but i was going to get that out for friday um last friday I couldn't quite unfortunately and i could return to nh5 championship mode because i want to finish that um, but once those stuff gets done, that'll clear some stuff out of the way, have more time to get, um, this stuff done, the predictions done, because I gotta get this done before the season starts in a couple months. But anyways, I'll leave it here, I'll see you guys tomorrow, if I decide to keep my end of the bargain and record a Starscape previous tomorrow. So I'll see you guys, bye.